personally, how do you prepare yourself to be a functional, efficient, and effective to your specific task that was given to you? Um, I'm going to start with the end. Uh, personally, you have to prepare in all aspects, be it mentally, socially, physically, and most importantly, spiritually. You have to ask God for His help because without Him, you cannot do anything. You have to ask for the Holy Spirit to guide you. You will be very effective in sharing what you know. So, as a health manager, um, in preparing, you have to know where you will be going because there are uh, health problems that you need to address. And the second, uh, uh, in health and or in wellness, there are different difficult uh, terminologies. Whereas if you go uh, in province or in city, and some are not so familiar with those terminologies, you have to translate it into simpler, uh, simpler uh, in a simpler context. And uh, next is you you need to know what they need to know. For example, this city is known to to be suffering from different chronic diseases. Then you have also to ask um, past health lecturers what they need to, to be more effective. So, with that, now, who are those uh, health lecturers? You know, the OI, BMC, For those who are planning to be a health lecturer, I hope that um, we get some need or tips from at the end that. Yeah. Are we? Okay. Uh, for me, uh, as what I did, I was telling you, I was telling it's good to prepare our stuff.
relationship with God and that clear command from God of what you will be doing there. The lesson plans, the stories, the music that you will be sharing with the kids, which way is really a spiritual song and spiritual um, stories. Know the people that could help you. Never, never forget about coordinating with the church that was based aside with your group. Always communicate with them, ask them about their children, ask them like, to prepare if the event is there. So never forget to communicate. And ask for people who could help you. It doesn't mean that you are the coordinator, you would just take all the responsibility. You should definitely for it to be even more effective. Lastly, make sure that everything now is prepared. The names of the maybe, the names of the children may be, the materials that you will be using, the stories, the PowerPoints, the music, everything should be prepared. And lastly, make sure that it will be surrendered to God. Never say that, no, this is my plan, this is already perfect. I'm not listening to the Holy Spirit anymore. If the Holy Spirit will tell you that, no, we are changing, changing, then you should change it, you should obey it. So never say that your plan is the perfect plan. Know that God will also tell you something more to improve with your plan. So that's it. I want to write some, um, some lessons that I have to read in those of you. First is, as an overall coordinator, you must coordinate first in the history of pastor death. Because somehow, um, so in some ways, you're in uh, if, if the, the wisdom of God has a lack of coordination in the district, but the program will not be successful in the program in terms of time and coordination and others. So, first is coordinate first the district pastor here. And then, second one, prepare the wisdom of God in terms of their specific tasks. And then, at least, um, after that, we must, as an overall monitor, you must survey first what is the background. Where is, where is the background? What are what are their uh a, what are their um lifestyle there? Is it their they are non pro or professionals? How can we approach them during this station? That's the uh, third one in third part of the overall community. Fourth part is uh, if you notice that they are have some problems in their specific tasks, just assist them. Don't neglect them. Say that, oh, I am the over I must not, I, oh, I am the leader only, and that's not who assist that. I am not, I'm not the one who assist that. So, as a leader, you must assist. A leader is the good follower of Isaac. So, that's the, and that is my lesson that I have as an over Wow, thank you. I, I want to recap, recap, but the phone is not around. But right now, we have to hear their uh, experiences. It's their own personal preparedness. So we have worked from Ken that you have to uh, simplify the terminologies if you're a health lecturer. Okay, and then from now, it's a process of spiritual, personal spiritual um, relationship with God, also with, with our children coordinator. If you are a children coordinator, it's not just you prepare when you're there. You should prepare, yeah, Raya, when you are um, on the process. Especially if you already know your past. And we are, we are, Elvin, Elvin, um, you can also do the thing that we do. Um, extend the speakers and know the doctrines. And our overall coordinator, you are the overall coordinator. We're hoping that um, you also get some um, behind the scenes preparedness that you can share with us. So uh, let's move on to the next. Um, are you clear with that? Have you also seen yourself in their situation? Somehow? So, the next question is, um, what are those behind the scenes challenges, behind the scenes challenges or problems you have encountered in your voice of your journey and how did you handle the situation? So, for, for some, Problems are about to happen, so um, it's so common. It's just it's up to the place, to the, the personality that you face. But right now, we will hear some um, situations. 
content and some challenges that they have encountered during their voice making experience. Let's start with the Before. And because we are we are all 
for us to get oriented what are really behind the scene preparedness that not just these seminars could help us, but you yourself, the orientation, and there are many very stories will be able to um, help us, especially for those new members, to know and get to know what is really the why. So, um, we're hoping that this will serve as a challenge for us to have, have the motivation to join, 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 and to encourage also and invite our other friends to join us. So, may we get inspired and may we learn from this behind the scenes experience. With our call, boys of you, thank you so much. And right now, it's not just fun in VOY, but it is the process of empowering us, empowering you. And may the Holy Spirit be with us and until the end of our program. So, right now, we will be able to say to God that, Lord, here I am, send you. If we're ready, can we say that? So thank you so much for listening for this short interview.